hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we will explore pencil tool we have brush tool in photoshop and uh, by adjusting the hardness and all we may get a pencil but why there is a separate tool here in this uh, section is uh, um, generally keeping this as a pencil as a separate tool that's one thing but apart from that if you could generally see um, in a normal brush tool when we take a, a stroke which is quick way harder but let me take the hardest brush okay and then when I just paint it okay that that's the result what we have got now when I choose the brush tool or uh, sorry the pencil tool which is um, as good as the size of this and then if I get I, if I go closer to it okay and then zoom it the difference between a brush tool and pencil tool is clearly visible so brush tool is uh, basically having different tips and uh, it is anti-aliased and uh, whereas the pencil tool the anti-aliasing is off so that's a major difference apart from that um, it's almost like uh, any brush tool we have so one thing uh, about the brush uh, the pencil tool is so for that I need to pick B and then uh, right now B, uh, the pencil is highlighted if not I can press shift B to cycle between the brushes menu tools so I mean if I just click and hold it so there are four different tools inside the brush so i can select shift b to cycle between that four tools so i'm going to pick the pencil tool and we have uh, the uh, size and uh, hardness so hardness is zero hardness is 100 and uh, when i do that there is no actual difference between these two um, i mean when the hardness is less it sh you should get a soft uh, result but you you don't get that and um, uh, you can just go and uh, try to um, use all that features what we have here uh, in terms of brush so uh, the next thing is we have the blending modes here so you can blend them uh, with the previous strokes so I'm, I've taken multiply and then green you get that uh, a multiplying of these colors then you have a uh, opacity of this brush where the brush becomes way lighter uh, than what this earlier was so you could see that so if I press 0 it becomes 100% opaque if I press 5 it is 50% if I press 1 it is 1% if I press 5, 6, it becomes 56% opacity. So 0 makes it, you know, 100% there. So we have this auto erase feature, which is basically like when I add a stroke, it doesn't uh, do any erase for you. But if the stroke is, I mean, the trick is here. If I drag it from the white area, you get a stroke. But if you paint that in the red pixels then it becomes eraser okay so your first click should be there okay your first click should be in the red area click and drag and then you can go out in and everything gets erased which comes in the way so that is happening because auto erase option is on if that option is off you don't get that uh, erasing feature working you should keep it on there you have pen pressure uh, buttons here if you put this on um, based on the pressure the opacity is controlled and then we have uh, size so it, it becomes thin or thick it's thin thick okay 